Hello and welcome to a session on Zoho CRM on to the quotes module and uh, the concept of how quotes link to sales opportunities or potentials and the method of which how you add all the information like products and so on uh, to the quotation and then generate the quote in PDF format sending it to the client. Okay now to add quotes you can do this in uh, a couple of ways and the first way would be to just create the first of all the potential has to be created that's something uh, that you need to bear in mind because a quote normally b belongs to a sale of course so uh, it's a best practice to create the potential first and in the quotation field you can make the potential name here highlighted as a required field so this will ensure that your sale is already always added to the CRM now to create the quote itself you can either start by going to the potential so here we have a potential and down in the related list sections you will have a quotation section here as you can see so you can create a new quotation from there and then that way uh, as you can see in the top right, the potential name is automatic because you started off looking at the sale itself and then you created a quotation from there so it will populate the uh, potential name field as well as the contact and the account. So you can fill in the information. We're actually going to jump to one that we've done already to save time on the video but basically the information here is all customizable. So for example, if you don't have a carrier uh, you can remove these fields and or change them. Similar to quote stage, if you want to change the wording in this or remove it altogether, you can. So we're going to jump to the actual uh, quotation that we have done. So we're back onto the sale screen, the potential, and there is the quotation. So we can create the quote and have a look at what we've done already and here it is the quote information summary screen will be here okay so you can fill in the information as required now the address information as well if uh, billing and shipping may be different and stuff like that so you can fill that in now the products here is where you need to have done some forethought and planning in the CRM because quotes and invoice modules both use the product module so if you have not done a product module import with all your products pricing and so on then you can't add them in the quote or the invoice module so you need to do that first now to do more or add more products I'll scroll down and show you here so here is uh, one product example if I want to add another one I can and then I would do the product lookup and it will show the products here so we're talking about wines in this case so we can just add the product as we go al along and then we put in the other values a quantity now the the unit price comes from the product itself now the list price is where you can adjust the pricing on the fly as you create the quote so if it's the same you can just put the same in if it's slightly more you can put that in as well and then when you press the tab key uh, the amount the total amount will be calculated okay so you can give individual discounts if you want to on each item each uh, product so either a percentage or a direct price reduction and then calculate you can give individual taxes as well but the, also the tax uh, calculation will come from the product uh, that's a separate video when you see the product module you add each item along with a tax record as well so when I've done this I add as many products as I have uh, need to on the quotation I can put in terms and conditions related specifically to that quotation Now if I've got generic terms and conditions, um, for, for example, uh, about shipping or anything like that that apply to every single one of my quotations, then I could, the best way to do that is to put them in as 
standard TNCs on the quote template itself so you don't need to key them in each time especially if they are quite long you can put them in on the template itself these ones are be uh, these ones are flexible changeable uh, and applying to each quote each time and you can put in a description for the quotation there so when we save it now we have the edited version with two products and an adjusted price and so on as you scroll down similar look to the rest of the records with the related lists you can put notes activities for example I need to now send this to the customer but first I want to review it but I don't want to forget to send it so I'll do this and put in a date Save. now what I've got here is a related task specifically for that quotation okay so it's the same concept uh, when doing tasks and stuff like that for leads and so on you can also add meetings to review the quotation and log a call to discuss the quotation and uh, you can attach here and so on now this might be if you want to attach the physical file of the quotation itself generated by the CRM and I'll show you how to do that in a second the email section here uh, will uh, show emails sent from this module itself okay so we will show you how to do that right now if you wish to first come uh, to look at the quotation in PDF format that is done with the export to PDF function the first step is it will ask you what kind of template uh, you want to select this one is straight out of the box no editing uh, just for this demo but you can create fairly complex HTML quotation and invoice templates that you can insert your logo uh, headers footers uh, other images if, if required and also adjust all of the layout and so on so you can select when you've done that they will appear in this list and you select it we're just gonna use the standard one Okay, and it'll open the PDF. It's a no frills uh, PDF uh, just for the demo, but uh, this one is straight out of the box. So the the uh, your company name here, logo can appear here as well. All the fonts are straight out of the box as well, so you can change all of this. Uh, it's just for the demo, and uh, the company information will appear in the quote along with the products, along with the terms and conditions. As you remember, they are related to the quote. They can be keyed in at the time or they can be templated and inserted hard inserted into the quotation so this is just a PDF and from there you can do what you like you can save it attach it and so on so we're going to just jump back to the CRM so that's exporting to PDF now we want to email this to the customer so we can send an email from the more actions and what this will do is again you select the template a PDF template in other words and then it will jump to the email module and as you can see in the top right the attachments it's automatically attached the quote the quotation the PDF file to the email and it's named it in the same way that you give the subject of the quotation okay so that's where you need to think about um, a naming convention for your quotes and it will attach it automatically it's very smooth operation here so then you can go ahead and attach uh, use an email template related to sending quotations okay this we don't have a specific one on the demo but you can use um, any email template associated with the quotation module okay, that is a separate video how to create email templates but if you create an email template associated with the quote module then it will appear in this list because you are using the uh, quotation module at that time okay so you may um, just have uh, the email something very s simple like this
Okay, so you can put in your um, information here. Now in the template, again, you can pull in quotation-related information and put it in the email body. Okay, uh, now when you actually physically send the quotation, the email record, the record of the email going out of the system from the quotation record is stored as an email under the quotation record itself. So this time, you know, this is where you need to understand uh, that you're thinking in terms of objects. You're working on an object. You're working on a quotation. And you've just sent the email from the quotation. Therefore, the email, the record of that email, will be under that quotation record. Okay, so there it is there. Okay, and then the final step in the stage of a quotation is when it gets agreed and the customer uh, agrees to the pricing and so on, and the sale is won. And in that case, you create an invoice. Okay, so the first thing, if the customer has agreed to the deal, there will be a thread of conversation either on the potential record or on the quotation itself. It's really up to your company policy where you want to put your uh, communication threads. Uh, but there will be a thread of information saying that the deal has been won. So in that case, you should select closed one on the potential just to show that the sale has been won. And then on the specific quote, You can say that that was delivered, for example, it's just a quote stage. And now we want to create an invoice to request payment for this quotation. So to do that, you click the convert button and you convert it to an invoice. Okay, and just in the demo here, that has already been uh, converted. Okay, so there is the invoice. I'm now on the invoices tab, but the exact same information from the quotation, like the customer name, the subject, uh, the account, and so on, and the products will be uh, converted across. There's one product shown here because I added one later on uh, to the quote. But the exact same information will be shown uh, in the invoice after it gets converted. And then this invoice can then be also exported to PDF, exactly the same concept as before. And you can also send this via email as well using a template that you need to set up in the administration side and it will attach the invoice to the email. And again, you can select an email template related to sending invoices to the customer. And this is the final stage in the quotation process whereby you create the quote as a draft, you review it, you export it, you can email it, you win the deal, you convert the quotation into an invoice and send that to the customer in order to get paid. And that's the quotation process. Thanks very much.